to Angel B Designs. I'm Angel B. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I got my hands on a Caesar Romeo cutting machine and I am so excited. Um, so I want to start off by thanking Caesar and Heat Transfer Warehouse for sending me this machine to get my hands on. I will have a link if you are interested in this or the Juliet. There will be a link in the description box for you to go ahead and purchase one if you are interested. But I am going to be unboxing this bad boy and doing some first cuts. I'm going to be cutting some easy weed, um, regular vinyl, as well as some glitter vinyl. We're going to listen to how it cuts to see how loud it is and all of those things. Um, I do also have a Silhouette 24 inch cutter as well. So you guys, I will be doing some compare and contrast, not in this video, but make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you have the, that bell notification turned on so that when that content does drop, you are able to take a look at it. Um, but yeah, in this video, we're going to be unboxing this and kind of getting our hands in the machine and seeing what all it can do. So definitely go ahead and stick around for that. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this and this is just the um, box that has like the cords, the manual, um, like the power cord, all that stuff in it. Um, it is packaged, oh this is the cutting mat that comes with it, it's a 12 by 12 but it is packaged very, very well. I'm actually really impressed at how well it's packaged. Um, there's like this little styrofoam wrap around it. And then it does also have shrink wrap on it as well that I have to cut off. But we're just getting it out the box, cutting off the shrink wrap. And I'm gonna move some of that stuff out the way and then get all the styrofoam pieces off. And then there is one on the back as well. And then we're going to go ahead and open up some of the, the boxes here. That's um, the cord that goes to the computer. That was the blades. And then these are the power cords. It's a two-piece power cord. And then the manual is in the back. Alright guys, so I have it completely... Um unboxed here and turned on um but i'm gonna do some test cuts um so what i'm gonna do is i am loading my blade now which i was trying to show you in a previous clip but these are the blades here right so come on camera um so i do need to go ahead and load this but this is the cut setting um screen here right where the um, the material that I have selected is easy weed. So with the um, mats came some easy weed vinyl just to, you know, do my test cuts on. Okay, so here's the blade. I have it inserted and I'm just going to go ahead and pop this in down here. I know you guys can't see. But it's really simple to pop in. Um, okay, so I have my blade inserted. And then these are the settings. So this here is your material, and it says Easy Weed. And then this here is the cut speed. Right now it's on 10, force on 15. So when I selected Easy Weed, that was the settings that it was already on. So if I, if I hit Easy Weed... You have HTV up here, and then down here it says Easy Weed, um, Brick 600, Holographic, uh, Blackboard, Glitter, and Metal. Okay, so uh, because I'm using the Easy Weed HTV, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select Brick, and I'm gonna see if that changes the settings, and it doesn't. So, the cut speed is still, I'm sorry. Nope, that still says easy weed, so brick. And then I'm going to hit load. So for the when I selected brick 6000, it did change the force from 15 to 12. So these settings are already kind of, I guess, preset. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to select easy weed, and then I'm going to select load. 
and it took the force down to five cut speed at um, 10. And then this is the image that's going to cut here. It's going to be our test cut. It's in the little corner. I don't know if you guys can see it all the way, but I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and load this in. Shiny side down. Oh, I do have to lock my rollers, I believe. There we go. Okay. I know I'm kind of in the way. I'm sorry. So what I'm doing is I'm loading this and then I am pressing the arrow over here. The arrow, as you can see, sucks in the easy way. Okay, all the way. And the down arrow pushes it back out. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of put my material where I want it which should be right there. That looks good. And then I push test cut. So now it just did the test cut for me. Okay, so let me get my weaning tool and we're going to see. All right, so I actually don't see anything on here at all for me to weed so I know my head is all in the way guys I'm sorry okay so I'm going to up it because it didn't cut anything and you really want to um, play with this and make sure you have your the right settings Okay, so what I just did is I upped the force from 5 to 15. Now let's see if we have something to weed out here. And still nothing. There's nothing there for me to cut. Okay. Let me make sure I put my blade in correctly. I will be right back. Okay. So I actually realized I did not have my blade in all the way. So this mechanism here, let me kind of zoom in so you guys can see what I was doing wrong. Okay, so this here, when you're putting your blade in, you have to turn this silver part. Okay, this right here moves. This little block here. So when you go to put your blade in, what I did was I had it kind of sitting on top of it like this. It wasn't pushed down far, far enough, which means I didn't twist this far enough. Okay, so you want to twist this far enough to where the little lip here goes underneath there like that. And then you can close it. Screw it tightly on there. Like that. Okay, so that red lip that's on the blade should be underneath this black part. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Now we're going to go ahead. I have my cut settings at 10 uh, speed and 10 force. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out and see if we have something to cut. Or I'm sorry, something to weed. Okay, we do now. So that means I have it put in there correctly so I'm gonna go ahead and weed this out and see does it weed good oh look at that it does can you guys see that hopefully you can see that that looks really good so this is easy weed that weeded beautifully easy weed cut speed 10 and cut force 10 that we did really really good it didn't go through I didn't have any issues so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go I'm gonna up the force and it also cut fast okay I'm gonna move this over 
I'm going to up the force to 20 and see what happens. Just I just want to play with the settings and see if that cuts too deep or what. Okay, so this is cut speed 10 and force 20. This is also weeding beautifully and it doesn't seem to have cut through. Nope, it did not cut through. So it looks like 10, 10 and 20 also cuts really well. Now I'm gonna up the speed and see what happens. And again, this is just me playing with the settings, guys. I'm not, you know, just playing with the settings. I'm gonna up the speed all the way. So the highest cut speed for the easy weed setting is 13. So I'm gonna put it on 13, cut speed 13, force 20. And see what happens. Oops, I cut over the other piece. Let me scoot it over some. There we go. Okay, so that cut really fast. I like how fast that cut. Let's see if it went too deep. Nope. That looks beautiful. And it did not cut through. All right. So I really like this so far, y'all. I love this. What you guys think? I am going to go ahead, find me um, an image to do. I think I want to do some layering, some HTV layering. I'm probably going to do glitter and maybe a regular vinyl just to have two different kinds of material that we can cut. And um, I'm going to cut it with this and then we're going to press it. So let me find a design and I will come back when I'm ready to cut. All right, so I have my first piece of material here, which is the white um, Caesar Easy Weed. I'm going to go ahead and load this through the back. Um, I'm going to use the easy weed settings that are on the machine, um, which is the cut speed is 10 and the force is 5. And then I'm just going to load this in and go ahead and on my computer hit send to cutter. And then I just wanted you guys to be able to hear the machine. Okay, and let's go ahead and um, I'm going to cut the excess off and then we will weed it and see how it looks. Um, if I can see where to weed it. There we go. Just trimming the excess off. And then, like I said, we're going to weed this. just to see how it looks, see if it's nice and if it's a nice and clean weed, which it should be because we've already tested our settings. Let me make sure I'm in the camera because do y'all see that? It's weeding beautifully. Hold on, I'm just gonna adjust my camera a little bit. Very clean cut.
Okay. And then we just got the little pieces here that I have to, you know, weed out, which are coming off just fine. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my material for my second cut, which is the, it's going to be a glitter cut. So I'm going to go grab that material and I'm going to come right back and we'll uh, cut it together. All right, so for the next material, I'm going to do the glitter um, uh, vinyl here, and I'm going to go ahead and use the mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load it in, and I need to make sure that my blade is nice and lined up with the material, which it is now. So um, I'm just going to go ahead, same thing on my machine. I have my material set, my mirror is on, all of that. I'm on my computer. I'm going to go ahead to uh, send to cutter, do send to cutter. change my settings so it probably didn't cut well at all I forgot to change my settings from easy weed to glitter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to refrain from wasting material we're gonna see how this works out and I'm just gonna go on here because it really didn't cut through at all I'm gonna select glitter load which I just did and then same thing, I'm gonna go in here, send to cutter, and hopefully it's still nice and clean, but we'll see. So I'm gonna let this cut and then we'll come back and we'll weed it. Okay, so it just finished cutting. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to weed to see if I was able to save this piece. I mean, I do have more glitter if it, if it didn't, but I just wanted to see if you know, I'll be able to save this piece. If y'all can hear the vacuum in the hallway, sorry. Because I really just didn't want to waste a piece of glitter if I didn't have to. But let's see. It looks like it might have weeded fine. Let me see. like it cut fine it's just a little messy so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this weeded out and then I'll come back when it's all done all right so I have both pieces weeded out here and it did cut and we be well the you know the white one did we saw it in my the gold one I had to do a little finessing with it because I cut it twice and some of the you know pieces were kind of like it was just a messy cut because of me right human error not the cut not the cutting machine but I really just wanted to unbox this and let you guys see how it cut and things like that and how it sounded I do plan on um, putting this baby to use I do also have a silhouette pro the 24 inch one so I will be doing a compare and contrast and seeing which one is easier um 
I just got to, I got to find some of the pieces that go to the pro so that I can go ahead and do some of those videos. But, um, yeah, definitely stick around for a lot more Caesar Romeo, um, content. Um, uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you have those bells turned on. But yeah, that's all I have for this video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or, um, ideas that you want me to do with this machine, drop all of that down below and let me know. But that's all I have for, for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.